Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday and welcome back to another candle review. Today we are talking about Scentworks Sugar Cookie. I picked this particular candle up back in December when Kohl's was having a pretty incredible sale on the Scentworks candles. They were 10 bucks a piece, which I feel like maybe they've gone a little bit lower than that, but I feel like $10 is a really good deal for the Scentworks candles. In the past, I've not really made it a secret that between Homeworks and Scentworks, I definitely have a preference for the Homeworks candles. And for me, that is simply because uh, the ceilings that we have in this house, um, also just the size of the rooms in this house and the open concept, it just, the Scentworks candles don't really lend themselves to providing the strength and the throw that I really need for a candle to be noticed in this house. This particular line, Scentworks, it wasn't around when we lived in our old house, um, but I can tell you that Scentworks would have done just fine at our old house. They, there's just not enough oomph, uh, however, for them to really perform the way that I want them to in our new house here. So. Um, Scentworks is not a brand uh, that I typically will pick up often. Um, sometimes I do receive PR from Homeworks, Scentworks, and they'll send a few candles, but it's been a while since that has happened. So um, yeah, but when I saw that they were 10 bucks, I there were a few scents that I was still wanting to try, and so I went ahead and picked a few up. Sugar Cookie was one because I thought this would be a really nice scent during the month of January and I was definitely right. This is, it's a great scent that you could use any time of the year. They did have Sugar Cookie in some holiday packaging that I think Kohl's is actually clearancing out right now. So I'll put links to both candles in the description box down below. Um, the holiday packaging is... Uh, is discounted just a little bit more right now. The candles are on sale. Um, they're $16.99 or two for 30. And regularly, these are priced at $24.50 each. Quite honestly, I, I would never pay $24.50 for one of these Scentworks candles, especially since uh, I just don't get the strength and throw that I need out of these. When I do burn the Scentworks candles, typically it is to accompany another scent to maybe give it a little bit more oomph, but I don't expect these to be standalone candles in this house for me. Again, if you live in a smaller home that doesn't have like an open concept layout or that is just a little bit um, smaller or you live in an apartment, I think these Scentworks candles are definitely worth checking out. And like I said, Kohl's has some pretty sweet deals on these sometimes. I want to say that at one point I saw the Scentworks candles on sale for like $8.99, which at that price, absolutely check them out. Yeah. And $10, absolutely check them out. And I also think that the two for 30 is a pretty decent deal. I've always thought that the most ideal price point for the Scentworks candles was around $15 a piece. So that two for 30 is kind of in line with what I think is appropriate um, pricing for these. Not that we're talking about pricing. That is none of my business. <laughs> I don't own this brand, so I don't get to decide that. But that's just kind of what I think is appropriate pricing for these. Um, these are 14.5 ounces. I do really like the overall shape and look and feel of this glass. I'm just gonna pop in here and kind of hold this up so you can see just how thick that glass is. It's very substantial. Um, I actually like this glass and this like this overall jar uh, even better than the regular Homeworks jars. <laughs> um, these guys are right here. Just because I think that the thickness of this glass really helps to amplify um, the fragrance a little bit. It, it definitely, I think, aids in the strength and throw of these candles. Um, labels, I think, are nice. But overall, like they just have a really nice look to them. Um, the packaging, I think, is great. Um, 
And uh, the reason that I have the hot cider donut candle here is because I'm going to be doing a little bit of a comparison here in a minute. So we'll get back to that. But let us get into the description. Um, let's talk about strength throw burn quality. You can see that I am in the last like quarter of wax left here. So I'm pretty much almost done with this guy. I'll definitely finish it if not tomorrow, then the day after. Um, I can burn these for quite a number of hours, but we'll get to the burn quality here in a second. Okay, so this is the sugar cookie scent. The fragrance notes are pretty simple. Vanilla bean, buttercream, sponge sugar, and sugar crystals. So, what do I smell? Um, it's funny because I wouldn't, like if I was smelling this without knowing the name, I would totally say, hey, is this hot cider donut? <laughs> So let's just pop this back in here right now. Hot Cider Donut, one of my favorite, like all time favorite homework scents. If you stuck the sugar cookie under my nose and I couldn't see anything, I would probably say, oh yeah, that's Hot Cider Donut from Sugar Cookie. If you have both, will you please let me know if you have the same thoughts? Um, I don't think this necessarily smells like a sugar cookie. Uh, but I also don't think it really smells like a donut per se, <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. I feel like this is, you know what it kind of smells like to me more than anything is almost like a snickerdoodle because I get some cinnamon in here. I definitely get the vanilla bean. I get maybe like a buttercream, just like a sweet creaminess for sure. Um, and I get the sugar crystals. I, I don't know about sponge sugar per se because sponge sugar to me sort of implies almost like a borderline caramel, you know, like sponge sugar. Um, and yeah, I just, but I also smell cinnamon. <laughs> I really do. I smell like a cinnamon sugar sprinkling maybe over a cookie. That's, that's what I think I'm smelling. Um, the cookie note smells somewhat similar to like that cake donut note. So, but to me, this is like a slightly less powerful version of hot cider donut. Um, yeah, honestly, when I, I'm going to just stick my nose in this real quick. Yeah, I mean, the hot cider donut, I think has a little bit more of that like cinnamon sugar sprinkle thing going on, but I don't, I don't think they're vastly different, you guys. I really think sugar cookie smells like hot cider donut. I don't know if that was the intention or if that just is what my nose is picking up. But seriously, if you love hot cider donut and you've always wanted to try the Scentworks candles, um, I would I would pick this one up uh, and compare the two. I you're not gonna hate it. I can tell you that it's it's a very nice scent, and it just it just smells a lot like hot cider donut to me. So I don't know how many different ways I can tell you that, but that's what it smells like. So if you're curious about the actual fragrance, um, if you know or have had the hot cider donut, there you go. That's what this smells like to my nose. That being said, noses are all different and we all kind of pick up some different scent notes. Cinnamon is not in the description at all, but I swear to you that I smell like a really nice gourmand, like Ceylon cinnamon in here. It's really nice it's not red hot cinnamon it is not the most predominant note but it's definitely lingering in there somewhere to my nose so there's there's the description for you for me and then let's talk about the strength and the throw so this is where i i kind of struggle with the scentworks candles but i will say they perform better when i am putting them in my different hurricanes so i have put this in most frequently, uh, I've had it in the Ellery Hurricane from, what is that, Crate and Barrel? Uh, what's that now? Where's the Pottery Barn? I think it's Crate and Barrel. Okay, I'm, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I'll look it up. Check out the description box down below. I put lots of links down there. So I'll put the two hurricanes that I have tried this in where it has definitely amplified the strength and the throw. If you missed my do you need a hurricane or candle chimney video, I will uh, also link that in the description box down below. Because if you're struggling with some of your candles, I think that a hurricane can really help to amp up the strength and the throw. So without having this 
anywhere in terms of like a, a dedicated candle container, I get a strength of about a four and a half from this. Um, by comparison, the hot cider donut is more of like a seven, seven and a half. This has always, always, always been a good performer for me, even from the very first year when it was released, which was the first year that Homeworks was available at QVC. Um, who has been with Harry for that long? Raise your hand. Um, I, I was definitely, as soon as he came to QVC, I was like, sweet, Harry Slacken's back. <laughs> I'll buy whatever he's making because I always loved his gourmand sense when he was at Bath and Body Works. So I knew this was going to like turn out well for me and with my preferences. But yeah, uh, the throw without a candle crock is also, bruh, gosh, it's kind of like a four or five somewhere around there. You can definitely like smell it as you're walking into the room, but it's just light. Like it's a very, it's more of a hint versus when I'm burning the hot cider donuts, it is a, hey, did you just make donuts? Like I for sure know that I smell donuts in your house right now. So I think that's the difference. Now, when I put it into the hurricane, I get a strength of about a five. So it bumps it up. And then it also amplifies the overall throw just a little bit. Um, I think it just intensifies that strength enough to where the throw kind of like goes up along with it um, at the same rate. So not the strongest candle that I have. And would I purchase more? Mm, I don't know that I would go for more of the sugar cookie, especially since I can since I can get this. I'll also link where you can get this down below as well. Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'd rather just have the hot cider donut myself. But it was definitely worth trying this sugar cookie and getting to experience it and um, you know finally burn it because I've been interested in it for a while. This has been a scent that it, this isn't new. Um, this has been a scent that's been out for a while. It's just not one that I've really thought about much. So, but for ten bucks, definitely willing to give it a chance. So overall, it definitely gets a thumbs up. It doesn't get the two thumbs up that the hot cider donut gets. But if you are on a tighter budget um, and you want to experience the hot cider donut, I would send you to Sugar Cookie during an amazing Kohl's sale. I think you can use Kohl's cash. I don't know. I don't. I'm not super familiar at shopping at Kohl's. To be totally honest, um, we only go in there when Craig needs tennis shoes. I, I don't have a lot of fashion finds <laughs> that I love from Kohl's. I buy most of my clothes from Costco, to be totally honest, or The Gap online. So, um, yeah, uh, I just, I don't do much shopping there. So I don't know if you can use Kohl's cash on these, but if, you know, if you know how to work that game, try and work that angle as well, I guess. But overall, yeah, it's nice. Um, I'll definitely try other scents from Scentworks in the future. I just know now to sort of temper my expectations a little bit. These are not going to give me the same performance as my homeworks. And I don't, I also don't think that they're necessarily meant to because why, why, why would he do that then? <laughs> that just, that doesn't make sense to me, right? Like I, I think of homeworks as the more like premium end of the brand the scent works kind of in the mid range. And then he also, if you guys are not familiar, has Aroma Works that is available at Home Depot. Um, now there's not a lot of scent choices there, but, and I've never seen them at my local Home Depot, but I also don't hang out at Home Depot on any kind of regular basis. So um, I've never tried the Aroma Works, but a few of my friends have, and they say that they are actually quite good. So I don't know, but, Again, the Aroma Works is another step down from the Scent Works. So, all right, I feel like I've talked this particular candle to death. So, check out the description box down below for the links to everything. Let me know if you have any questions. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new. And let me know, let me know your experience with Scent Works in the comments or let me know if there's anything that you are really excited to try in the coming season. Um, yeah, 
leave that down below in the comments. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next